Today's Mass Readings January 9, 2020 Thursday The Thursday after the Epiphany First Reading A reading from the Book of 1 John Chapter 4 Verse 19 to Chapter 5 Verse 4 Beloved, we love God because He first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen, cannot love God whom he has not seen. This is the commandment we have from him. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father, loves also the one begotten by Him. In this way we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 72 verse 1 to 2, 14, 15 BC and 17. Let our response be, Lord, every nation on earth will endure you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will endure you. From fraud and violence he shall redeem them, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. May they be prayed for continually. Day by day shall they bless him. Lord, every nation on earth will endure you. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the Son his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Gospel Reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 4 verse 14 to 22. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news of him spread throughout the whole region. He taught in their synagogues and was praised by all. He came to Nazareth, where we had grown up, and went according to his custom, into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me, to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing, and all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>